every day, twice a day, we walk across this bridge, goes across Nimrod Drive into what was the Browner Housing Estate. And I would come back and I would cut through this entrance into the courtyard of what's called the Concrete Jungle, kind of the centerpiece of the Naffy Estate. I was here last year with Dave, famous story about that window up there with TV sets and things being thrown out. Sailor came home early, found his wife in bed with another man. Stuff came crashing down, landed there outside Dave's old fish and chip shop. But these stores here, when I was a kid, there was a news agents, like a convenience store, there was a candy shop, there was a green grocer. And this is where we would come for, for candies and a lot of our groceries. There was a bit of a grocery store over here. This row here, which is now only half of what it was, had a TV store, it had all kinds of different things, but it's all, all closed up now. But this old sad building, I mean, it really looks like something out of Chernobyl, the old gray high-rises of Chernobyl. And this is probably the last time I'm ever going to be here. It's probably uh, going to be torn down very soon. But really very strange walking across these flagstones, you know. I remember coming across here the day before we were leaving. I don't remember why we came. I think a friend and I came up here to go to one of the stores, but, you know, went back through through that archway and back to our house and then came to Canada. It's strange being nostalgic about something that is <laughs> such a dump, but a lot of history here. Of course, on the end here was Dave's fish and chip shop. I mean, he'd long since been in Canada by the time I was born, but I did manage to retrieve some tiles for Dave. These green tiles that you're about to see, Dave put these on here himself in the early 70s and karma couldn't get the damn things off managed to break off a piece with my key and it went in my eye so Dave you'll have a good laugh about that but yeah there they are still there all these years later can't really see into the shop anymore but here's the famous spot where Terry jumped off as a kid put his teeth through his lip and now we're just going to go on a bit of a walk down the ramp to Siskin See my old school and get out of here.